Yes, in this video, we are going to see the implementation of stack using C++. I have opened the Gini and I have copied the program. I just explained this program and I will show you how it will execute. So here what we have done is, uh, we have uh, declared the iostream.h using namespace. It is for uh, standard IO, IO, that is C out and C in statement usage. Here we have declared maximum length to be 10. As I have said already in the previous slide, we are using that template so that any data type I can pass. I can pass an integer, I can pass a character or a string like that. So here we are declaring a stack class, uh, uh, declaring a stack uh, which is of that class. So uh, mm -hmm. we are declaring a class and then uh, inside we are declaring two uh, variable. One is array and another one is pointer, top pointer for this uh, array. So using this top pointer only, we will be accessing the values inside the array. So now, which is nothing but our stack structure. And we are uh, using the constructor initial, initially mm -hmm. top pointer will be minus one. That is, there is no element. Now we are declaring the functions is full empty destroy star. This destroy star is used to destroy the whole element in the stack at one. Pop, the difference between the destroy stack and pop is pop is used to remove one by one element. That is this stack, if you execute the destroy stack, it will remove all the elements at a time. So now print stack, uh, it is used for printing the elements in the stack, then push used to insert the element, then pop. Since it is returning the value, so we have made it as t, which is nothing but a common data type, then peak. All the other things are void, whereas here it will return the element which we are storing, whether it is an integer or so that type only it returns and it is a common type. So we have given the t. Now we are declaring the, uh, we are implementing all these functions, member function which we have declared. So for each you have to give like this template class t and then only you have to explain them. So stack t which is, is full as we have seen. If uh, it reaches the maximum length, then we say uh, it return a 1, else it return a 0. So using this, we will check before pushing anything. Then here empty. We, this will be using if it is equal to top minus 1, which means that uh, stack mm -hmm. is empty. So that will return a uh, 1. Uh, empty as 1, else it will return 0, meaning that there are some data is there in the stack. Then destroy stack. For in order to do a desktop attack, just make the top pointer to be minus one. Then no need for popping it because it has lost all the element. If you manipulate the top pointer, then you are losing all the values. So here I have made it as top minus one, which means all the values are lost. That is what I said. In one stroke, you will be able to remove the other the values which are even if it is existing there, you cannot access. So which is equal to destroying the stack. Then push. Here we are checking for the full and then. Uh, if it is not, then increment the top pointer, add that value on the top of the stack. Else you give the cannot push and so on. Say pop. Pop is also you are checking for empty. If not empty, then you pop the value and place in a temporary variable. Then decrement the top pointer and return this value, the uh, deleted value. Else you say cannot pop. Then print stack. You are printing all the values by accessing the top pointer. Then here pick. Pick is used to uh, see what is in the top element. So for, for that, before doing that, we check for is empty. Now we will come to the main program. In main program, as we have seen, uh, we have written a menu driven program. So one, two, all these things are for checking whether it is full or empty and then push pop. Then fifth is a print stack, destroy stack, peak exit. So when you press A, it will come out of this program. Now e is full, it is checking and if it is returned, then the respective a statement is printed as same voice the empty then you are calling that and you are checking here already we have declared the uh, stack as st and here we have given character type so this uh, whole program uh, in this stack you can push character only suppose if i want to enter the integer integer element i just i have to change here as in that's all if i change it as in Everything, all the data will be uh, pushed and popped will be in. Uh, if I want to do float, I have to give here data type as float, that's all. So here, if I can do change this, then 
uh, no need to change then and that. Automatically, it will accept that type of that particular type. That is why I say uh, template, the advantage of template. Anyway, we will go with car. So now, after this, uh, you, you call the respective functions based on the cases. Uh, and now we will see how it executes. Now I just compile it. And then execute. Now, this is a menu. Now I am going to push. You can check whether it is empty or not. I can check whether it is full. First, let me give full. Stack is not full. That is, uh, still has come below. Is it empty? Yes, stack is empty. So now what I have to do, I am going to push the value. So push. Now it is asking for character. So uh, let me give a character A. Then again, let me push some more values B. Some values. Now I want to see what are what are all push. So I give five. Now you can see A is the first one pushed. So it is at the down. Then B, M, G. So G is the latest one that will be paste on the top of the stack. Now I want to pop four. So I give four. You can see the popped element is. This is what returned from the pop G. Now I print the stack whether it has actually popped. Let's see here A, B, M. The G is popped. So it is not at all there. Now uh, next I want to uh, pick. See the topmost element. So now you can see. See M is the top element here. So that will be printed. Now I want to destroy the stack. Yes. It has been destroyed. Now when I try to pop. What gives? Cannot pop. Stack is empty. So this is the data it gives. Information gives. Now I exit the program. Yes. So this is how you work. And this is the uh, using the menu driven program. You will be able to do all the uh, operations. Execute all the operations in the stack.